Alright guys, here's another video. Um, got a lot of emails, people asking me how my chip in their ECUs without having the car and how I know if it's working or not. Uh, well, here's a daughter board I just installed for somebody. Um, I will not be installing daughter boards for free anymore. Uh, I won't even do it for money. Uh, from one of the last previous videos, I said if you guys send them to me, I'll chip them for you. Put a daughter board, no problem. I'll throw a tune on there so it'll run your car and you guys take it from there. Um, since then, I've probably done probably about 30 to about 50 ECUs for free. Um, I didn't start it just to make money or anything. I did it for free. Uh, the owner paid for shipping to me and from me to back to them. So uh, I'm going to start making videos so that way you guys can do this on your own instead of paying somebody or quite frankly I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, with so many of them that it doesn't take that long but I just don't feel like doing them anymore. Uh, I can answer any questions if you ever get stuck or if you got a problem. Um, again, two 8-bit chips. The daughter board can be bought from moats.net. Um, super nice people. Uh, it'll work for KAs, SRs. And it's pretty simple. I mean, I can remove it. The pin, and that, I can show you guys the actual uh, pins on the other side, but if you watch all the videos, I've explained it. Um, how I get everything set up to make sure it works obviously I got it plugged in now this is just a simple plug that how you would plug in your harness to it I went to a junkyard uh, found a KA and uh, I had an extra SR harness lying around so I cut them uh, this works for both KA and SR uh, all you gotta do is find your grounds um, loop them together for a common ground and then find your power which I have right here here's my power uh, and uh, what I'll be using is a simple Radio Shack power supply so that the daughter board is installed obviously the lights not on there's no power so what I do is I'll flick the switch powers on oh lights on and uh, powers up now what I go from here is obviously it still lights up but I can't test it I can't do anything with it on here if you're familiar with 240s here are the green wires what I did is I went to the junkyard cut that consort plug off the driver side and I usually have it wired into here but a guy stopped by he pulled into my backyard in the shop his somebody cut it out of his car so I gave it to him for free so I need to go get one of those it's kind of kind of sucky that I can't show you guys um, I've got this tune opened up already I was working on something for my project uh, here's a plug that I'll be plugging in so if I had the plug here I could this would again you know plugged right into it and then plugged into the computer which I could have connected and put a tune on there, or pull the tune off, or edit it, and saved it, you know, whatever. So, NIS Tune is usually what I use for tuning. There is Tuner Pro. Um, a whole bunch of other programs. NIS Tune I like, preferably, because I'm just used to it. And, uh, so if, there, if you guys want a diagram, or you guys don't really need a diagram, you guys, obviously, if you own a 240, you can read wiring. Um, Cut the plug off from a car, from a junkyard, wire it up, get a power supply. I think the power supply was like, I don't know, probably 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Wire together with simple wire. Get your power, get your plug here. This right here, I've had for a long time. Uh, I have two of them, a little bit different style that I don't use, so... I'll probably have a giveaway. Um, reason why I'm making a video and I haven't made one in a while is I got an email from 
a small business called 240sxlisted.com where it's technically like a Craigslist for 240 related things only for the United States or the US so they told me make a video they'd appreciate if I called them out you know their name uh, check them out if you're looking to sell a 240 or parts or looking to buy something check them out uh, a link will be in the description below for them and uh, this is just to get you guys a quick little idea on how to do it. If I get that plug back, I'll show you guys how it connects using Niztune. And uh, see you guys in the next video.